Hey guys and welcome to my channel! Today I'm going to show you how to make Swiss meringue and a few Halloween cookie ideas. Swiss meringue is one of the three ways to make a meringue. It's stronger than French meringue because we need to use heat to make it and it's much easier to make than Italian meringue. There are videos on my channel on how to make the French and Italian meringue and I'll leave the links below this video. Swiss meringue can be used as a frosting for the cakes and cupcakes, topping for pie, or in our case, to make a meringue cookies. To make the Swiss meringue, we'll need egg whites, sugar, powdered sugar, and a pinch of cinnamon for the false spirit, but it's totally optional. Bring a saucepan with a few inches of water to a simmer and place the bowl on top. Make sure that the water doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl. Add the sugar and egg whites to the bowl and continuously stir the mixture until the sugar has dissolved, increase in volume and turn slightly white, about 8 to 10 minutes. You can also use a thermometer and bring the mixture to 150 to 155 degrees Fahrenheit. When the mixture is reaching the right temperature, remove it from the heat, clean the bottom of the mixing bowl with a towel and transfer it into a stand mixer bowl. Make sure that the mixing bowl and the whisk attachment are very clean and there is no residual oil of it left behind to disturb or deflate the meringue. Add a pinch of cinnamon and start mixing at high speed for about 8 to 10 minutes, depends on the power of your mixer. When the stiff peaks form, stop the whisking, add the powdered sugar and mix for another couple of minutes. Powdered sugar will make the meringue more stable and it helps the meringue to hold its shapes better. Swiss meringue turns out beautiful, glossy and very dense. It's best to use the meringue immediately. Next we need to color the meringue. I use green and orange gel food coloring. To make leaves on my pumpkins I colored a small amount of meringue in a green color and a bigger amount of marine and orange color. I also saved a little bit of white marine to make some ghosts. Transfer the green marine to a piping bag fitted with the piping tip number 352 to make some leaves on top of the pumpkins for finished look. Transfer the orange meringue to a piping bag fitted with a planned piping tip number 12. Pipe four half circles facing one another with two lines on each circle, followed by one straight line down the center. Add two green leaves to each pumpkin for a finished look. To pipe the ghost, transfer the white marine to a piping bag fitted with an extra large plant piping tip. Press a little bit of marine in the center and move down like a comma mark. Dry the marine in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Fahrenheit with convection if possible. Depending on the size of your meringue, bake for 60 to 90 minutes or until the outside is crisp and the inside is dry. They should feel light and hollow. When done, the meringue should easily peel off the parchment paper. When the cookies are cooled completely, using an eatable marker, draw a face on the ghost. Baked meringue cookies may be stored in a covered container at room temperature for up to two weeks. I really hope that my video is useful to you and inspire you to make Swiss meringue Halloween cookies. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.